Hi, this is Mark the Meerkat suffering in for the Broad Market Review for March the 23rd, 2015. Well, I'm in for Des. He's on a business trip for a couple of days, so you get to see me here doing the Broad Market Review. What happened? Boy, at the end of the day, the markets dropped. Let's take a look here at the numbers. The uh, SPY was down 0.19%, was up most of the day, and then the last 20 minutes of the market, bam. Same thing with the Dow. It was positive most of the day, and then uh, the uh, DIA dropped 0.06%, and the Qs were actually down almost all day, and they were down 019 and the small caps also fell at the very end of the day, down 0.09. Bank was down 0.31. That's more bearish. It's a more bearish sign, and the VIX did go up 2.4%. Uh, and that's a little bit more bullish. Trend trade, uh, we are at 0.88, so uh, no trend trade there. The transportation dropped 11% today, so that really was bearish on the market. The other sector that really dropped was biotech. After zooming up uh, the last couple of weeks, especially on Friday, it kabam today. Many biotech stocks dropping hard, and the T-bills dropped below 2% on the 10-year T-bills. So, uh, just thing, interesting things happening in the market. So, those are the numbers. Let's here take a look at the charts on the S&P 500. Uh, do using the looking at the SPY here, and it uh, on this one it looks more of a high base. It's a little more up and up, but then pull back just a little bit on the SP. X itself, but SPY here just a little bit of a high base, so gentle pullback today, not much decision. A lot lower on the volume again on the SPY. We can look at volume down here, uh, and uh, because Friday was options expiration day, let's took a look at the DIA, uh, the uh, ETF on the Dow, uh, and it appears it's starting to roll its way back up to the all-time highs. Started to go up, it was up most of the day, and then bam! At the very end of the day, it went to negative. The Qs were down uh, a lot during the day. Uh, it's getting those biotech stocks pulling it down. Uh, so again, it's getting up here to its uh, multi-year high here, and the, and the all-time high is just a little bit above that. When are we going to cross it, uh, that 15-year high from the year 2000, uh, back in March of 2000? Now, uh, let's take a look here then at um, the small caps, look at that, boom, 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 boom. It was all time high on Friday, and it was up higher the day, and then it ended up pulling back down. Uh, that's it on that one. So, uh, not much else to show in the markets. Again, the, the uh, S&P 500. Let's take a look here at Apple. Uh, in our Stock Picks V newsletter, we did have a bull flag on this, and it did break out here uh, last week. And it now is part of the Dow Jones Industrial Average. Yes, those 30 top stocks. Uh, and it was actually up today, uh, what, 1.3, a total of 1%. Uh, but it, uh, after having a really big day there. So we have a little bit, almost a bullish harami here. Let's see if it can continue higher. Well, this is Mark the Meerkat Suffering. I heard a disturbing fact uh, just before I started this recording. The average 401k in the U.S. is $1,900. People have saved $1,900 for the retirement. That is scary, scary thought, folks. So if you're taking control of your financial future, that's great. The sooner you start, the better the results could be. Mark the Meerkat Suffering. Trade well.